NBC4 is your local election headquarters. When you watch anything on TV right now, you are likely seeing many campaign advertisements. Many of them are for the U.S. Senate race here in Ohio. State House reporter Natalie Fahmy took a closer look at those ads. She joins us live to tell us what's true and what's not. Natalie. Well, first, a combined $400 million are going into these ads, with each side hoping to get their message out there. Incumbent Senator Sherrod Brown is running for his fourth term in the Senate, challenged by Republican businessman Bernie Marino. And in such a tight race, each side is looking for any advantage. I used to vote for Sherrod Brown and the Democrats. Not this year. They sided with Harris and Biden on immigration, not us. Brown and Democrats voted repeatedly to protect sanctuary cities, releasing dangerous, illegal immigrants out of Ohio jails and onto our streets. Experts on both sides tell me it's a smart ad. When you put real faces who are communicating the message to an ad, that helps. For someone to go on camera and say, listen, I used to support Democrats, I have, they've lost my support. That's effective. But is it true? The sheriff you see there was a Democrat in 2016, turned independent by 2020, and most recently ran as a Republican. Brown's team tells me the claim about sanctuary cities is false and points to his support for a bipartisan border bill and introduction of legislation to detain immigrants linked to violent crime. Brown was against an executive order by former President Donald Trump to block federal grants to sanctuary cities, saying cities could not afford to spend local tax dollars on federal law enforcement. In a statement, Marino's team says Bernie is going to Washington to secure the border and deport millions who have crossed illegally. This ad from Brown's campaign takes a different approach. What if I told you all of this was a lie, a complete lie? and Bernie Moreno knows it. In it, Brown's team facts checks an attack ad put together by an outside group. The reason why politicians appeal to fact checkers is because they're worried that the ad is doing damage. If you're responding to an ad, it's because you think it needs to be responded to. The ad responds to claims that Brown does not support a ban of transgender females playing in girls and women's sports. Brown did vote against an amendment to strip federal funding for schools that allow it, but says the decision should be up to sports leagues, not politicians. The truth is, in Ohio, this has already been banned. It is banned in Ohio. That legislation was only recently enacted a few months ago. And for now, you will likely continue to see new ads hit your airwaves. I'll say to all Ohioans, congratulations on November 6th. You're going to get your television sets back. Both experts tell me the $400 million price tag for this race is unprecedented, but say each candidate is trying to break through in a close contest. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.